Hello everyone, I'm Jinbe Wu from USTC. Today I'd like to share our critical personality federated learning for user modeling. This is just a quick outline of what I'm going to talk about today. I will give a quick introduction into my research, followed by a problem definition of our work. There will be a look at the methods used as well as some results so far, followed by a look at summarizes and future plans. Let's start the talk. Use modeling is an important basics to help researchers capture characteristics with personal data. In general, use of modeling process centralized training with data aggregate, which cause privacy leakage. Focus on this dilemma. Federated learning has received attention for user modeling. It refers to building and aggregating user models where leaving private data isolated so that either ways their data privacy. However, current federated learning frameworks are designed for consistent clients. Obviously, this will is in appropriate in user modeling tasks, even where there are a variety of user scenarios. Therefore, it's necessary to find a federated learning process that better adapts to federated user modeling tasks for isolated scenarios with the inconsistent settings of clients. However, we will face the three challenges. One, statistical heterogeneity. Different from traditional scenarios where the data is IID, personal re records for user modeling are usually not IID. Privacy heterogeneity, as suggests, different information have different levels of privacy. For example, attributes information in clients are public, while the information such as representations of users are privacy. Three, model heterogeneity in practical user modeling applications due to the different private data. The user model structures among different clients are often different. In this paper, we design critical personalities federated learning to overcome the challenge. First, we formula define our problem. In our problem as federated user modeling, there are six clients. Um, and in a client, there are some users and some items with attributes and the users will have interaction results on the items. Our goal is to train C local user models where the C user model can model the characteristics of users and predict the results. And we design theoretical information due to the theoretical privacy. One is public information. It refers to the information that contains the domain knowledge so that it can be shared. And the other is private information. It's the information which is private for clients. And it should not be shared. It should be protected. Next is the framework. First, at a glance, we propose our HPFL framework, which is a clean server architecture. Clean is a personal device, which is responsible for training a user model with private records that come in our framework. It says it delivers the different components of the user model and updates a personalized user model use the fine grand personalized update strategy. The other is the server. The server is in charge of fusing user models to a global one by different components with a different component aggregation strategy. We will introduce the technical details of the client part and the server part respectively. As I mentioned before, the client YAR framework is responsible for two tasks. As for upload, specifically, the client first independently train 
a general user model named GAM. Then client delivers the local user model by different components. In particular, the public components is delivered directly uh, since it is public, where client maintains the private components locally. Instead, it only provides some drafts generated from a basking task, and the collecting centers is the drafts we defend. We think is they are the rough estimation for use or item expectations. As for update, after accepting the aggregated global model, the client is mainly responsible for updating the local user model. For public components in GAM, at run T client, at the local attribute knowledge vector and the global knowledge vector where the accuracy to a weighted update the new vector. And for private components in GAM, the client distance weighted update new representation with the distance between the representation and the global centers. Then we design the server to be responsible for the aggregation of local user models. For the public components in GAM, the server process the weighted aggregation of the same attribute to option the global public components. In particular, the server builds each knowledge vector that represents knowledge information on uh, attributes from clients with a uh, local validation accuracy. For the private component in GAM server receives the class centers in uh, clients. After that, server performs a future clustering with all the class centers. The new class centers in server, which are defined as the global private private components, represent the representation of the bunch which involve similar users uh, or items from different claims. The functional structure in our proposed HPFL framework is the user model. We named it GAM. We first use the record as the input of the GAM, then we fetch the user and item embedding respectively. Then we fill the distributions on the attributes to better representation while mapping metrics. Finally, we simply define the distance between the user and item as the user reflects on the item. Now let's turn to the experiments. We use two real-world datasets. One is a public dataset called Assist, which records the mass learning loss from an online tutoring program. The other is MuiLens, including rating for Mui through the MuiLens website. We release our data here. We also make some analysis on the data in our data. Um, the distributions in a certain are ninety, where the distributions of attributes in MuiLens are almost high. Then we first compare two typical user model methods without federated settings, that's NCD and NCF, and we compare some SOTA federated learning methods. Followed our method, APFL, we define two simplified frameworks, HPFLK and HPFLR, which only processes the public components or private components respectively. To evaluate the accuracy performances of all the methods, we conduct the predict tasks as mentioned before. Some key observations as follows. In our federated methods performs better than distributed training process. It shows federated learning settings that can harmonize more information from clients which usually results in better user models. And our proposed method have 
better performance than any other methods on both data sets. This means that our methods can more effectively accommodate user modeling tasks. We adopt some common use indications to evaluate the ranking effectiveness that DOA and NDCG. We find PFL performs outstanding results on two aspects on the whole, where the K gets great results on DOA, where the R had an advantage in NDCG. It results from that the K lacks private components and the R ignores public components. Furthermore, we deeply analyze the rationality of user models at the parameters level. We find in the aggregation effect even in the distributed training method is not noticeable. In the ID distributions, we can personalize a client. Under such case, our framework that process private components still capture the finalized information. We show that in our on both types of distributions, our methods have an advantage to my peculiarity of clients from user characteristics in user modeling. In this paper, we design a novel client server architecture framework to involve federated learning to be applied in user modeling tasks which in consistent clients. And a fine grand personalized update strategy and a different components of aggregation strategy were explored to flexible fields user models. In the future, we will consider the data characteristics to improve the federated strategy. And we want to design a platform and apply the technical details of HPFL. Thank you. Any question?